What is up guys, Game Theist here, and today I'm going to be reviewing or going over the 1.5 update, also known as the Redstone update. There's pigs over there. Um, and I made some 1.5 and Redstone. Okay, so let's get started. So what we have here is the new ore. Um, nether quartz I think it is. Yeah. So, with nether quartz, you mine this right here. I can't do it because I'm a creative. I should have thought this through, in which I did not. But you mine this, and you get nether quartz. And this is what nether quartz looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nether quartz. Right there. And also, you could put nether rag in some furnace now and get nether brick. These are the crafting recipes, okay? All these are going to be crafting recipes. And nether brick is four, and you get one nether brick, and that's that. And after you get enough um, nether quartz, four in a block like this gives you a new decoration block, which is a quartz block. And if you put three quartz blocks along a line like this, you get a quartz slab. Well, more like three quartz slabs, but I only put one right there. You get the idea. And this crafting recipe, you get you know, quartz stairs. Here's the cool ones right here. Um, chisel quartz block, two slabs, you get this awesome design. And two quartz blocks, you get a pillar. Which could be used to make some really fucking awesome stuff. And I really like this. Yeah, you just find this in the nether, they'll be spawning it. If you have an old world, they'll be spawning in the new chunks loaded. About 69 blocks per chunk, which is a fair amount. And you can also get this without having to find um, a castle or fortress. Okay, let me just mine some of this real quick. Uh, let's find a pickaxe. Um, fuck. Pickaxe. Game mode. Okay, you mine this, you get, you get, ah, oh shit, I already have a bunch. Yeah, see, it drops, it drops that beautiful stuff right there, and you can use it to make, this gives another awesome way, reason to go to the nether. Now let's come over here to the next awesome thing, let me change my game mode back. What we have here is probably the most complicated of the update. It's the redstone comparator, comparator, I don't fucking know. But this is the crafting recipe, and it will look like this. Alright, so let's see if I can um go over what it does. Okay, the redstone comparator, or however you ever say it, it has two inputs, which this will be an A input and this a B input. And the out and output's C. If B... The B input is stronger than A, which this is A. C, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 signal strength. And this will be 3 signal strength, which is stronger. It will not have an output. As soon as you turn off the stronger output, which is B, it will come back on. Okay. If the, if the signal strength from B is greater than, or gr not greater than, but less than or equal to, the input of A, it will stay, the um, output will stay on, and this is also less than A, so the output continues to stay on. The next cool feature about the redstone carburetor, however you want to say it, is the subtraction mode. The subtraction mode, which you right click this, yeah right click, and You'll turn this little light on right here, and basically it subtracts it subtracts input A and input B, but input B has to be um, a weaker signal strength, which is nine. So I'm gonna turn on nine signal strength. Signal strength. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, and you can see since okay, let, let's do a little bit of uh, simple math here. Nine subtracted from five which is 5 is this A signal strength, and 9 is B signal strength. If you subtract that, you get 4. So, you get a 4 signal strength coming out, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 
and it lights up this and if you just flip this off it will continue the strength all the way through and turn on that <clears throat> I'm not too like awesome with redstone but I guess I have the basics of what the redstone comparator does the next really neat feature about the redstone cap writer is it could be used hooked up to um, a storage unit and it will give off a redstone signal based on how much items are in the storage thing so that's pretty neat for some really neat stuff and also for um dupe boxes depending on let me get some of these right here depending on which disk you put in is how far the redstone signal goes so you can essentially use it as some see how that lights up not all the way this one lights up very few but this one could be used as like a key for some adventure maps and it opens a door which is really awesome because only one type of one type of um this could do that and you can use that and that's all for the redstone cap writers that i know of maybe there's more but i'm i'm, I'm an idiot when it comes to redstone now let's move on to the next cool item which is a hopper crafting recipe one two three four five five irons in one chest in the middle and you get this little neat guy right here which i'm sure everyone knows what it is you throw items in and it goes down to the chest or whatever storage unit you have below it oh god i'm missing all these but yeah i up oh. Yep, and it comes down here, or you can actually just put it in like this, and you can see it going down into the chest below it. And you can connect them sideways, and you connect multiple hoppers together, and they'll still go through them all like this. See, it it's already down here, because it goes really fast, but let me try this. Put some... See, it's going down. It's connected to the chest beside it, so it's going to the chest and going down to this hopper. That hopper's going to this one, and this one's going to the chest. So you could use it as a um, transport pipe. Um, another cool feature you can do with this hopper is you can activate it, like turn it on or off with a redstone signal. It won't see. So the redstone signal's on. It stops him from um, coming down. As soon as you turn it on, it starts feeding it down to the storage unit below it. So that could be used from some nice stuff and there's also you know them in a hopper but there's um sorry excuse me hopper in a minecart which could be used some cool things I'll show you in a minute but right now right here what I have is um just imagine you're mining down here in say this is a cave you're mining you have a bunch of stuff you'll place some items we get some random items. It doesn't really matter. You have some item. You got some ores and stuff. You can put it in this chest. It'll come down to your base, and it'll drop all the hoppers. It'll drop all the stuff you got into the hopper and feed it into this chest. And as soon as it's done feeding all the stuff you mined into this chest, um, you can. It will return back to where you were mining at, which could be really cool. So I'll demonstrate that right now. Let me get some, say you found some diamonds. I'm get some diamonds right here. I'll only use like a couple. Oh, got some diamonds. Let's put it in this chest. Hit the button. It goes off. And it activates all this redstone crapper trappers. And it's feeding it into the chest. And as soon as it gets done feeding into the chest, it will return back to where you were previously mining. Look, you see that? pretty neat this is because um redstone cap writer which gives off the signal if there's nothing in it it just stops signal which will stop all this and return it back it's pretty neat stuff well let me try something actually let's let me get a furnace i haven't tried this so i don't know if it's gonna work but if this does work it's gonna be cool cool i'm going to see if like you can hook up, um, what am I trying to say? You can hook it up with a la 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 hopper. See if you can hook it up with a hopper and it feeds stuff to 
No, that's not right. Okay, that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. And then I'll put the furnace down there. And let's try it again. Let's see if I can put some... Ah, oh, crap. I need get coal. Oh, God. I suck. <clears throat> Let me get some coal right here. And let's see if I can put some, like, iron ore stuff in here. And see if it'll actually go all the way through and smelt it. I haven't tried this. But if this works, it's going to be pretty awesome. Alright, let's see. It's going to come in here. And does it act Oh, it does work. So you can have an automated iron ignit ignert bar. I'm just going to say bar because I can't pronounce it. And then from here, you can have another one below it or beside it, and it can come to a chest. But yeah, that's a pretty cool contraption you can use with the hoppers and... All the other awesome stuff. And now let's go to the next thing. Right here what we have is called the dropper. Not to be confused. Uh, okay, I just dropped that by accident. Not to be confused with the dispenser. This is the crafting recipe, you know, pretty simple. It looks like this, which kind of looks like a frog to me. A little happy frog. But, however, the dropper essentially, you know, drops items. It doesn't, like, look. It just drops items like a player would. Let's see if I put arrows in here just to show that it won't shoot arrows. It would just drop arrows. Pretty simple concept, and I don't need to go into more detail. It just drops the items. I'm not sure what you would use this for, but besides this little creative thing right here, let me get a redstone torch. I'll try to slow down with speaking because I feel like I'm talking too fast. Right here, I set up a hopper and a minecart, and then a dropper. So, it activates this pressure plate rail, I don't know what it's called. And it'll cause something to drop into the hopper, and then you can carry the hopper and minecart off to somewhere else. So, let me show this right here. Whip. Yeah, it'll pick up items off the ground, too. So, if it misses, no worries, but you can see I was just constantly dropping diamonds into this chest right here which I'm sure this could be used for an awesome contraption of some sort oh I accidentally spelled awesome time set zero okay um, we'll just ignore that next is probably one of the coolest and my favorite things of the update it's a daylight sensor crafting recipe is three glass three quartz and three Whoa, three of these half slabs. And it looks like this. And it does exactly what you expect to do, which is um, detect light. And it gives off a strength 1 through 15, depending on how bright it is outside and where the sun is at. So if I, this is like early. You can see the, wait, that's where time it is right now. This is like midday, I think. Nope, that's almost midday. This is midday. And it sends a full signal strength all the way through. And at night, you can see it will go away. Which is pretty cool. You can use this. I'll show you one other thing that I could set up with here. <clears throat> you can set this daylight sensor up to um, a knot gate. And it will it will reverse what it does. So instead of being like a daylight sensor, it will be a... What's it called? It will be called a night sensor. And it will sense night time. And... Essentially, what you have it do is whenever it's nighttime, these lights will light up. Let's tr show you right now. Night. And once, it, once the sun goes down, these lights will light up. And you can be more conservative and not waste energy. You know, because Minecraft has energy, and there it is. It has lit up, which probably be the only use I will use for these, because I don't know what else you could do you could also put like a redstone comp writer beside it and then put it in subtraction mode which is the little red light and it'll basically do the same thing but i found like a knot gate is easy to do and that is the daylight sensor next we have is a trap chest which is basically simple i turn my time set day put it back in day 
It's um, tripwire and uh, this thing. And it looks like this. It's basically a normal... The only thing different is there's a little red tint around the little hatch right there. And also the texture looks different, but I'm sure they'll fix that. And this is the pre-release, so I don't think they'll... They'll, they won't add anything else, so this would be all they add, and but they'll probably do with some bug fixes and such. And a cool thing, you can set them right beside each other. Like normally, you won't be able to sit a normal a chest beside another chest, but with a trap chest and a normal chest, you can do that. What trap chests do is they send off a redstone redstone signal based on how many people. For every people looking in the chest at the time, the redstone signal will be one. So. And it, it only does, like, one block below it. You can't do, like, one block behind it, it ha or it has to be connected directly. So best your best bet is doing one block below it to make it not noticeable, like I have done right here. And you can just connect it with this redstone repeater to increase the signal strength, as which I did. So as soon as I open it, you'll see a signal strength going off. See that? And you can use it to some traps. Like, I've hooked this up to, well... I guess it's pretty obvious. So you're like, oh, there's something in here. Someone's trying to take a shit. And, you know, they're dead. Well, they would be dead. Yeah, this is from, um... Uh, it was not from mistakes I made earlier. Okay, next we have is a weighted pressure plates. We got light, which is made out of gold. Two gold up beside each other. And iron, which is made out of, you know, iron. And it's a heavy. Um, let me move, remove some of this junk. What this does is, let me just show you. Based on how much items you have, you, it doesn't work if you walk on it, but based on how much items you have, on, you throw on it, it will increase the signal strength. This is light, so I won't need nearly as much. And if you try it with heavy, you'll need a lot more. Watch. So I already put, like, just as much as I did on the other one. It's best just to drop, like, full stacks to increase the signal strength. Like that. Oh, I just missed. Yeah, this, this requires a lot, a lot, lot more items on the ground. Or on top of it than the light or gold one has to use. Um... And, yep, that's pretty much the light and heavy pressure plates that has been added to the redstone update. Next, we have a block of redstone, which is pretty obvious. Just a full inventory of redstone crafted like this. And you get a redstone block, which acts as a constant power source for redstone. Pretty much like, you know, a redstone torch. It powers 15 blocks long like anything but a cool thing is you can use it you can hook it up to a sticky piston and use it to move stuff to turn a power source on and off in which could be used from some really awesome stuff so let's go into the last portion of this redstone update or the added stuff the activator whale which is crafted like such in the craft and these look like this which these activate the two new mine carts with TNT in them, crafted like that, and a hopper with a hopper with mine cart in them, which is pretty cool. Um, this is the activator rail. It'll activate the TNT, and after a certain period of time, it will explode, and could be used for some awesome PvP traps. You know all that. I'll show you right now. Just gonna send it off this way. It's going to activate it when it crosses that, and after a set period of time, it should explode like such. And that is the... All... This is all the new stuff, like blocks and stuff they added to 1.5. This has been the rundown of all the 1.5 redstone update new blocks and items, which everyone cares about. They also have nerfed like bow meal and improved other items, and this, this um, this is the pre-release. So it's set to launch the 13th, which is a few days from now. So you guys will have basic um, knowledge of all the new items, and if you guys liked the video or found it informative, 
you know, leave me a like and sub whoa, subscribe for more videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.